Hi there. I'm Devon. And this is Karen. Hi. We're from the My Body Therapy Centre in Forest Hill, London, SC23. So, we're talking today about staying well or keeping well in the lockdown. So stay well in lockdown, basically. How are you doing? How are you managing? How are you managing, Karen? How are you staying well <laughs> in this lockdown? Well, um, this title is staying well um, in lockdown, mentally, physically, spiritually and emotionally. So I'm going to break it down like that. Um, so in general, I think if you saw our other one, I think it was um, a longer vid we did um, in the sense of things to keep yourself active and managing stress and things like that. Um, so looking at mentally how to keep yourself well, um, a lot of the things that we've been doing um, has been really helpful. So for example, um, staying connected with family has been really good. Um, we've been doing a Zoom um, chat, <laughs> everyone chatting at the same time at first and no one could hear each other until we got the hang of it. Um, so I've got like three sisters and a brother and their in-laws and, the, and you know loads of um, kids they're all like you know teenage upwards so and then um, Sunday gone we've done a, a quiz um, which was put together by my niece and that was really good really competitive um, so that was that was great for mentally that was very stimulating as well because they were very hard <laughs> um, I've also ourselves been pick, took out the dominoes again and cards well it was really nice weather <laughs> last week um, yeah, okay, he's the king of dominoes, but, you know, Connect Four, we're, he's getting there. We're kind of equal now as well. The Connect Four has come out as well. No, we're kind of equal now. Um, we're doing, it's great to do some positive um, reading because there's so much um, negativity out there at the minute. So, obviously, the mind can only take so much. So, when we're hearing of so many tragedies, um, you know, our heart goes out to those um, near and far who have experienced um, a bereavement um, in their family or friends. Yes. Um, and um, you know that's one of the um, emotions obviously to go through and that's the grieving and the shock and denial of it all um, which we'll talk about in a bit yeah um, and it's, it's important to be able to still go forward and to step forward because I mean like yesterday I had the sad news that I lost a, an aunt um, quite sadly you know she has four children they also have to now go forward, just like ourselves, just like yourselves. And it is about how do we do that? And it's about the here and now, living in the here and now. This is the situation that we're in. So we have to adhere by what the authorities are saying, to be thanking God for the NHS, that the NHS was in position from time you know to look after to look after us the great NHS I have reason to call them the great NHS having this time last year spent some time in hospital and been looked after very well but the here and now this is where we are how do we cope with this now today it's simple create a new reality you know, we talk about playing games, then have a championship indoors, even if there's just two of you. So you have dominoes, you have cards, you have Connect Four, you have all sorts of games you can be playing. Just make it fun. Let each day have some period of time that there is laughter and fun mm. and play very important and that connectivity as well so even if you're by yourself it's joining a pub quiz that are all online now with a zoom um keeping you mentally stimulated but also uh, connecting with other people and having a laugh at the same time um you know talks all the, about positive reading there's um as i said so much uh, news at the minute um it's sometimes about choosing when you um listen to the news for me um it's no good in the night which i made a mistake last night of um, looking at my phone and looking at the snapshots of the news, which I tend to do on Sky News or BBC um, News, this is London. Um, but that obviously stimulated my brain to um, start thinking about our business, start thinking about what we're going to do in the future and things like that, and all the tragedies that are happening as well, which was not the best thing for me going to sleep. 
So for me, the best thing is, um, you know, say mid mid morning when I'm having my coffee break, to um, listen to a bit of the news and see what's going on um, daily. Um, but sometimes I'm not even doing it daily. I'm just looking at the little podcasts or the little um, news scripts that I want to on on the phone or on YouTube. Um, where I can pick up information that um, I want to look at when I'm ready. Um, another great way is, um, we're going to talk about um, mentally or spiritually, it's um, meditating, having that time out. Um, thankfully, um, the social prescribing in Croydon, um, if people know, sorry, that as the doctors are still doing and um, the yoga um, for people um, with with conditions and thankfully the yoga teacher is still continuing so it's been really helpful every Tuesday morning she's been doing the yoga so if you, if you can find one on zoom um, as they do it on zoom or somewhere loads of yoga teachers um, are looking for don you know to help donations and, and obviously that they just want to help as well um, yoga loads of exercises obviously on YouTube and everything but the yoga and the meditation um, helps you to 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 reach yourself inside and just has have that bit of stillness and silence whether you, whether you call it meditating or praying or as we've called it before, maybe praying, um, mm. you know, you bring in your gratitude there, your thankfulness, you know, it's time to um, just align yourself with your feelings, with your, any fears, with, you know, being scared or you know, calm or ecstatic or fun, you know, whatever you're feeling, just to have that stillness, that time of um, calm. There's, on, on the physical aspect, there's a lot you can do as well. You know simple things like uh, look your arm massaging right just bring in that feeling down yeah so you flow getting that energy to flow down into the armpits right so you can just do even though even if it's just stroking just stroking right you can do that for yourself or you can do that for your partner your mother your whoever right so it is as simple as that rubbing your neck even just doing this to someone it can ease i'm the yeah. one that's most on the computer devon's the massage therapist and reiki master he's the one that is always the hands-on and even when he comes and just does that um you know or even if i do it to myself and mm. stretch it really is helpful so physically it's about looking after yourself um, so stretching the neck pointing down and stretching just doing that you're moving the lymph you're getting that energy moving in your neck, in your, into your shoulders, yeah, just rubbing in there, all sorts, there's just so much more you can do. And just getting the blood flowing again so that we're not mm -hmm. getting a stiff neck, especially those that are still working on the computers. Um, we're going to do another vid about, um, video about, um, Devin will do another one about stretching, stretching and especially those that are sitting down a lot and the neck, back, shoulders, aches and pains, all those that are doing those exercises and getting muscle cramps and things like that. We had a few calls like that. So um, it is important to keep um, active, even if you're jumping up and down on the spot, um, if you can't go outside, or if you want to walk outside, you walk around the garden, or and up and down um, the staircase, the local park, you know, or up and down the staircase, um, jumping jacks, even it's just something to get the heart racing, and also, again, mentally, it's very, very good for us. So if you're feeling a bit low, um, even just getting up and doing some jumping jacks, um, it brings a fresh energy um, into your body. Um, and, and helps with um, de-stressing, um, helps obviously, you know, with um, not just eating all the time or sitting all the time. Mm. Um, it's just about being a bit more active. That's right. Um, dance. Yeah. Play your favourite record. Definitely dancing. You know, one other thing, get an album. All right, a CD, <laughs> right? A record. <laughs> a CD. A record player. Or if you've got a record player, an album, <laughs> right? But a CD. No, no, just tell Alexa. <laughs> to, yeah. And dance to about two mm. or three records consecutively, right? And just allow your body to sweat. So you're there, you're jumping up. Look, you don't even have to dance as good as I do, right? <laughs> you can be just jumping up and moving. You don't have to be a Michael Jackson. Anyway, right? and we're, we're speaking... So it's just like, yeah, you're getting the way we're going, mate. You know? <laughs> or you get up and you do a little bit of shadow boxing. Mm. Right, that's a good one. Actually. It is, and skipping. So you jump in, do a bit of Ali, Muhammad Ali. You I've, know, gone, I've gone back yeah. to Tiber actually. It's yeah. really good. I used to do float that like a butterfly and sting back like years a ago. <laughs> bee. <laughs> 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 so uh, moving on quickly to um, emotionally, um, loads of feelings you might be feeling at the moment. How are, how are you feeling? You know, 
Um, it could be scared, it could be fearful, it could be um, loads of enthusiastic enthusiasm, um, it could be really enjoying your playing time with the kids um, or talking with a lot more people than you used to. But um, it could be calm, it could be concerned. But it's that quiet moment, that quiet moment that you're confronted with yourself. The kids have gone to bed, your partner snoozing away somewhere, and that reality. Well, it is about how you perceive that reality to be. You can just take it in your stride and say, whatever, right? And just think of tomorrow. Not too many tipples, because that can make it worse. But to be able to say, do you know what? I am alive. I'm feeling good. Appreciate what you've got around you. We have air. Hopefully we have water. Yeah. Um, we, have, can we have food and we have shelter. Yeah. If we can breathe, if we can even just open the window and breathe in the air, you know, thankfully there are still things to be yes. grateful for. Um, and always relative to other people. See the positive sides. Because there's always somebody that is worst off. Right? And the fact is that we have a great NHS, right? And the idea is not to overload this NHS. The people who are out there who are doing their, you know, we have people who, my sister-in-law, Karen's sister, who's a nurse, who's out there, a friend of mine, she's a nurse, and having to um, send her child to school while she goes out there, and there's just so many people out there on the front line. Yeah. Our soldiers, mm. our soldiers, the NHS, you know. So let's continue to we, we, do the clapping. We yes. do the clapping. But also, as we wind down, um, continue to follow, you know, what the government is saying in your particular country. Um, stay that's well, a, stay safe. That's how we do our bit. Stay at home. By staying safe, by doing our bit, we will help in the long term. And stay positive as much as you can, okay? Yeah. Namaste. Namaste.